to 25 houses a day, Jacob. That's right, if you're not the number one agent, you're the number two agent. And no one wants to be the number two agent. Price per square foot, lot size. Come here. You want to see a cool house? Come here. Password, who is your mentor? The guy that dresses like I do. Oh, <laughs> there we go. No introductions needed today. You got Altman. You got little Altman. What are we calling you these days? I just usually go by my name nowadays, Jacob. Here at 9141 Thrasher, the heart of the Bird Streets. <laughs> Jacob uh, has got up his sleeve because it's definitely not a bigger bicep than his mentor. I mean, he bought the smaller size shirt. <laughs> yeah, don't tell him my secret. Come on. Jacob, what are we looking at? So here we are on the coolest entertaining level. What we've got is this big open space, 14 foot ceilings, the pool, the view, and the living space all on one level. So you step right out to the big view and not only the city, but all this greenery too, which is just incredible. All right, you ready to come to class? Are you ready to come to Bird Streets 101? In fact, this is Bird Streets 101, 102, and 103, because right now you might know nothing about it, but by the end of this video, you're gonna be an expert because you're learning from the best. That's right, king of the Bird Streets. I'm the prince. You're the prince. Prince of the Bird Streets. Yeah, so I like call that. Me. That's actually, I I'm, like cool. That, I'm cool man. with that. All right, prince, prince of the Bird. This is the royal, Bird Streets royalty. Ah, all right, you guys ready for this? Let me, hold on. Uh, Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I mean, how funny is this outfit? Double outfits here is just classic. Where would you like to start? Where do you, you want to start? Oh, give them, give them everything. North or south? Let's I don't go, know. Let's go hills of the city. All right, let's start at the top. Do Doheny Estates, a.k.a. My old hood sold, I don't know, pretty much almost every house up there. Uh, what you're looking at at the top is one that's probably worth about $150 million. The owner's name is... That's right, and great guy, by the way. Spent a lot of time with him. That house is probably the crown jewel of the Bird Streets. Now, you're gonna work your way down. A lot of these offshoots off of Doheny are really good streets. A lot of them are very hidden houses. All you see is the front from a lot of these houses, and you don't know what's behind it, just like this. And then you're gonna end all the way to there, which is, well, Flicker, also uh, uh, have lived on that street in the past. And uh, that is owned by, now they're a great family. Uh, I have a blast with them. Uh, that house, in my opinion, is going to be probably somewhere north of $60 million. There's a couple of monster developments going on, but we'll just leave it at that. We're sitting on 6,700 square feet, which is a really big house for up here because the pool is tucked off in the main living space. So what you can do is you're kind of hidden and have your privacy on your pool on the side. But what's amazing is you sit in the jacuzzi and look straight at the view, which is so cool. What a smart thing to do. I like it. It's privacy. You know, the thing that people mess up on all the time are a couple things on the outside that you don't realize how important they are. Number one, landscaping. Over landscaping. Always over landscaping because people like the lush feeling, right? There's nothing worse than a spec house, which this is not, but a spec house that has a little $12 tree from Home Depot when you're asking $10 million. Spend more on the landscaping, plant it early, let it get lush, and then you hit the market in prime time. But number two, of course, is privacy factor. And that's what people want up here in the bird streets. And that is what that does. I bought this house years ago and did a down to the studs remodel, replacing every finish, every fixture, every material in the whole house. And they wow. did it for them. So in a lot of these, you'll walk in and it's all spec, which means it's cheap and it's done for the resell. This is a little more unique to the owner but the quality is a lot higher than you'll ever see. This is so cool. Yeah, I love amazing. how they did this. And I think it's great. I think it separates it from uh, other houses in the neighborhood, which is really cool. And this, you know, I gotta tell you from right here, come on over here, Ben, check this out. I mean, this has gotta be the biggest view in the house right here, right? It's incredible. That's a big time view we got there. And what this is, is just not a cookie cutter modern house that everyone's building. This is a unique, design done by the owner for them and that's why they put in all that extra money and you can see it in the material. Stone goes such a far way. Uh, what I love about this is you can actually see the, 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 the rocks in it. So it's almost like that fossil type of stone. I don't know the exact name of this, but it's very cool. And very expensive. Yes, yes. You've also got a very 
well-known neighbor next door to you. I don't know how much we can talk about that. Yeah, I can't really talk about it, but can you get that shot right there? So like, there's a lot of favorite things about this house for me. I love the different uh, options of uh, where you can sit and what you can sit on. Uh, for me, this one spoke to me. That's nice, I like that. This uh, is negotiable. <laughs> it's funny, that, they found that, and they, that's the one thing they saved from the existing house. Come on, they found, really? They found it hidden below and refinished it and brought it back into this main house, which is so cool. Yeah, actually, uh, what I love about this floor is this limestone. It's a limestone floor, yeah. I, I'm big on limestone floors for a couple different reasons. They uh, they, the wear and tear actually is minimal. You right. can really beat them up. And it actually, the, when they do get a little use, it actually, I think it, it brings it out and makes yeah. it almost look better. And you don't typically see that on spec houses. Yeah, it's a little uh, bit of character. Yeah. And that's why they did it for themselves. It, all, it also doesn't age poorly like, like some white stone does. And then I like how they brought this stone back from the bar over to here to bring it all together. This is fun. I mean, it's cool and a great, great floor for entertaining. Check out the dining and the kitchen, and then we'll go down to the fun stuff. All right, so you do have an elevator here. Uh, in, uh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, uh, any house that has more than two floors should have an elevator, especially up here in the hills. Um, that was always my opinion. Yeah, it's a bonus. And again, you got that those high ceilings carried through here. Yeah, what I like is the size of the Fleetwood doors that they brought all the way up. You now they cornered the glass so you don't have anything uh, imposing on the view. Really I've actually, seamless. I've had this at one of my houses before. This is actually a very cool chandelier. Yeah, and awesome. you can add on to it, you know, they have it where it can literally go, you know, for uh, you. Yeah. So yeah. also got surround sound throughout, every bell and whistle as far as the extras you, you have connected to your iPhone or tablet or whatever it may be. Kitchen also totally redone. When they redid the, the house, Ooh, they, like it. yeah, really nice. They turned the whole kitchen so that you could be here doing some dishes, looking straight at the view, which is great. This is what you call the uh, $9 million view kitchen, for sure. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, look at this. And also what I like is the countertops are a little higher. You notice that? They are, yeah. It's yeah, true. I actually like that. For the avid cook, so you can. Yeah, yeah. So all the neutral colors they used in here came out really good. It feels good. The breakfast nook clutch yeah. in houses, especially when you got a lot of little rugrats like myself running around the house. You got the kids at home. This is perfect. You can hang out here while uh, you know while you're cooking. It's a nice spot. Yeah, it's awesome. Let's look at this. This is cool. So. Uh, this is not real for everybody who is going to uh, have a problem with this. Just so you know, it's not, but it's beautiful. I love it as a piece of art. No crocodiles were harmed in the making of these uh, 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 cabinets, cabinets and, uh, but I do love it. And I think faux is cool. Faux is a go. Faux is go. So now you've seen the entertaining level. Now we're gonna go down to the bedrooms. So this is the lead up to the owner's suite. It's incredible, one of the biggest bathrooms, biggest closets, biggest views you've ever seen. Let's check it out. And before you go in, look at this. Art on top, wet bar behind. Oh, I like that. And you just got the art. And again, you got the beautiful stone. This is one of those leather stones, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so this was all built in. They built everything right. in. Everything you see here is totally built in. Yeah. And custom and meant for the house. Great. Right. All right, let's check out the, uh, well, the best bedroom in the, in the house. So everything again is turned to the view. Oh my God. Who wouldn't want to wake up to that? Look at that. That is epic. Yeah, it's amazing. And I love how they turn this around so you can put the, the placement on the bed. Yeah. So again, everything is very well thought out, all structured around the view. Arguably one of the most, I, I would say, high-priced cul-de-sacs on the planet. Uh, but that's the type of stuff you're looking at. So when you don't typically want to look at neighbors or this or that, trust me, you want to look there. And that's my favorite thing. I like to actually point at the, all the houses I've sold them. Yeah, that's my favorite. So this is pretty cool. I like how they, they backed up the sofa to the bed. I think it's all one piece. Yeah, all one piece. And then you've got, cool is that? A hidden TV behind the 
behind this, again, faux fur setup, just to add some great texture to the house and makes it, again, feel everything is custom. I just wanna know why there's not a million dollar listing playing looped on this. Yeah, that's tough. All right, let's check out more. This bathroom is one of the single oh, best oh, bathrooms. Oh. Under 10 million, that's for sure. Probably oh. 15 million. My God, yeah. I was not expecting this. Yeah, it's incredible. And check out the view. You're literally sitting in the bathtub, looking out that way. Boom, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Then we've got his and her water closets and the Zen garden. Check this out, how cool is this? So this is the best use of space. Yeah for what would typically be very wasted space or not know what to do with it. The way that they dress this up, I love this, by the way, the stone. Um, and then with the turf that follows the actual stones as well. I mean, I could work out here all day. There, it's the, and there's a gym too. It's the, they call it the Zen Garden, so they come to get Zen. Cell phone. We're gonna find out oh, yeah. who is stronger, the dad or the son? Uh, the prince. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna look at who goes further in 30 seconds, okay? Yeah, respect you your elders, go for it. You go first. Um, oh, man, I hope the pants go rip. All right, go. I haven't started yet. Yeah, go. Forty-five. You weren't even in my league. Okay, so it's your turn now. I'm going full rows. You're right there. <laughs> Listen, I've never been better. <laughs> Between the cheat codes you learned last last month. <laughs> the cheat codes. <laughs> Wait, wait, back. just do me a favor. Shut the fuck yeah. up for one second. <laughs> yeah, that you one. saw what he just got, which was 145. You saw what I just got right there. Jacob, do me a favor. Go home. We have a tour to finish. Come back. Good. One, to, one to one. We'll set it up there. Oh, now it's one to one. Come back when you're a winner. <laughs> Yo, you good or you need a minute? Oh, I need a minute. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, no. I'm sorry you got your ass kicked. That's good. That's good. You gotta admit. Listen, for a 40 something year old, you're pretty strong. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. With age, uh -huh. you get knowledge. What Jacob doesn't know uh -huh. is that when you row. I know, that I saw. You gotta go all the way back. He went short. What I realized is that Josh had the cheat code. It's the cheat code. You know what this is? This is mic drop. Ownership. All right, this takes us to the closet. It is the biggest, most beautiful closet. Everything is custom. Who designed the Dolce & Gabbana showroom actually designed this as well. Also designed part of the Mr. Chow restaurant. Mr. Chow, shout out my guy, dear friend of mine. And that is why this closet is such an amazing, incredible custom closet. Custom, custom closet. <laughs> custom closet. Let's go, let's move on. <laughs> on this floor. Right so what's, cool, what's cool about this is, uh, what I like is some of the houses on Bird Streets, not that family friendly. Right. This one, the way the layout is with the bedrooms on the same floor, 
I love it. It works for families, but also at the same time could work for a good bachelor point. or whatever. Yeah. It's a good point. You got three additional bedrooms on this floor. This one's set up as an office. Great office, amazing yep. view. Yep, takes in the view. Then you got two really great bedrooms. I mean, look at how sizable these bedrooms are. Really nice. And what what additional auxiliary bedroom? has its own little outside space and its own bathroom, amazing. So from here, after seeing these three bedrooms, you've also got the laundry on the, on the same level as the bedrooms, which is always a plus, because people don't like to go up and down uh, flights of stairs, even if you have an elevator, uh, when you can have the laundry on the same floor as the bedrooms. You catch your breath, Josh, or no? Oh, I'm here, babe. All right, okay. Right. This is cool. So this is, uh, yeah, again. They took the wood floors, they put it on the wall, and I like it. So then again, this is what I call the bonus fun area. This is great TV watching. This is your kind of hidden space. You want to make a match, you want to have kids run around. You also have doubles you know. as a theater though, because it has blackout shades, which is really important. Uh, obviously you got the big screen. So although, which a lot of people are seeing, seeing that I also like, that a lot of people like, are theaters that are not designated as theaters. Correct. You push a button, blackouts come down, screen comes on, you got the hidden projector comes down, etc. And it's great, but during the day, you actually can use the room for other things, right. which is what this is. Den or theater, but great space. Yep. Uh-oh, I might have another competition over oh, here. Oh, you can tell me this was here. Just the most epic gym ever. You know, in a past life, I used to be a trained martial artist. You know about that? I have no idea about it. What's that? Uh, this is a. Uh, is, that, is that built into the ground? This is a movable. Uh, uh, I actually don't know what that is. This I don't know. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that's heavy. That's heavy. All right, cool. Well, as you see here, we got the gym. This is a great extra space, especially if you're spending a lot of time at home. Uh, oh, look at that. That's funny. Sugar Ray? Yeah, it's my boy. Super nice guy. Got to hang out with him a couple different times. Did you know this? I don't know that this is an actual fact, but you can put this down as a Josh Altman fact. The gym equipment is the number one thing left at houses when they get sold. Do you know that? And you know what number two is? Outside furniture. Ooh, close. That's three. Number two? Um, potted plants. Ooh, close. That's number two. Close, that's number two. All right, check the book, but what's number two? Pianos. Oh, fair. Okay. Try, to move, try to move one of those. Fair. Come on. Fair. Man. Touche. I like that. Touche. 9141 Thrasher, the best deal, the best quality, the coolest house in the Bird Streets. That's, That's right. It. Check it out. Alban Brothers' newest listing, Jacob Green's newest listing, aka the Prince of the Bird Streets. Now, I don't know about you, Jacob. I need a shower. Yeah, I'm done. I'm finished. <laughs> wrap it. Wrap it. Let's oh, go. Hold on one sec. Can't... Oh, that's my wife. Cancel all my showings, because that just took a we'll lot hit the, out we'll of hit me. the pool. <laughs> yeah, if you need us. But in the meantime, uh, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, Jacob, you take your blue outfit and white shoes, and I will take my blue outfit and white shoes, and let's go sell the drink. We're out. <laughs>